Hello, everyone, and uh, thanks for having me today. Uh, my name is Isan, and I have recently received my PhD in computer science from the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. And I'm gladly going to present our paper entitled uh, Secure BERT, a Domain Specific Language Model for Cybersecurity. AI in cybersecurity has gained a lot of attention in the last recent years for different critical tasks such as intrusion detection, phishing and spam detection, threat prevention systems, and malicious behavior analytics. Companies and enterprises massively invest in using AI-based technologies to protect their information and infrastructures against cyber attack in a more effective, faster, and a cheaper way. In the past recent years, and by growing the popularity in the internet and social networks, and enhancing the computing power, Text analytic and uh, the natural language processing have become a powerful cybersecurity tool for vulnerability analysis, risk measurements, defense planning, uh, threat action extraction, and in general, cyber threat intent. In cybersecurity domain, security analysts process the different cybersecurity related texts to identify and extract uh, threat information in order to monitor, prevent, and mitigate the threats. For example, Agencies such as MITRE and NVD invest millions of dollars each year on human expertise to analyze, categorize, prioritize, publish, and fix the disclosed to their textual descriptions and third-party reports. However, this manual process is uh, problematic, impractical, and also it is expensive and slow, since as the number of product grows, the number of vulnerabilities increases, and therefore, it is critical to utilize an automated approach that is capable of uh, identify uh, the vulnerabilities and quickly delivering the defense measures. NLP has been uh, widely employed to analytic variety of domains, including cybersecurity. Language models as a core component of the NLP plays a critical role in NLP applications that interpret the qualitative input text and transform it into quantitative representation. Language models mainly made uh, in order to capture the most important text features from the sequence of words from a natural language and utilize it uh, for different underlying tasks. In this paper, we introduce a, a new domain-specific language model for cybersecurity, which is able to capture the contextual and semantic representation of the cybersecurity text. This model is very important in cybersecurity uh, community as it can be maintained and utilized to automate many cybersecurity related tasks in the future. Before diving into the details, let's answer a fundamental question, which is uh, why language model and why it is important. In the text analytic tasks, it is always required to represent the input text with numeric values. The traditional way to do so is uh, one hot encoding that works based on word occurrence. Similar representation that work only based on the frequency of the words in the text cannot effectively capture the semantic relationships and the contextual understanding. Therefore, language models introduce a new form of text representation known as word embedding or the word or embedding representation uh, that is uh, able to convert human language to present each word with a multidimensional vector that preserve all semantic and contextual attributes within the feature space in the text. Uh, on the other hand, uh, many of the existing off-the-shelf language models, such as BERT, uh, have been trained on general English, and so they are good at representing the regular English words, but not advanced language, such as cybersecurity. For example, uh, some words, such as ransomware, API, or exfiltrate, might be very uncommon in general English. So may, they may have improper representation in general language, uh, in general language models. Meanwhile, they are, have uh, multiple meanings when appear in different language domains. For example, words like honeypot, virus, or handshake carry totally different meaning in cybersecurity when compared with the general English. Therefore, uh, it is not be uh, very uh, fully functional to uh, leverage existing models to represent cyber uh, cybersecurity text. In the meantime, there is no or very limited number of 
domain specific models to be utilized for text analytics in a particular domains so it motiva motivates the build uh, motivates building such models in uh, all the sensitive uh, domains such as uh, cybersecurity for better and more efficient uh, text representation BERT is the most recent state-of-the-art design for language modeling, which is a transform-based neural network that has outperformed all the older language models for standard NLP tasks. Building a BERT model requires two steps, pre-training and the fine-tuning. In the pre-training stage, the model is trained on unlabeled data against two different pre-training tasks called Mass Language Modeling or MLM and Next Sentence Prediction or NSP. In fine-tuning step, the BERT model is launched with pre-trained parameters and then all or part of the parameters get tuned and adjusted using label data for the downstream task. We don't go to the details of the BERT's uh, BERT properties in this presentation, but since it has significantly improved the state of our results of the common NLP task, we chose to build our domain-specific model on top of BERT. A variant of BERT, which is claimed to be a robustly optimized version of BERT with uh, certain modification in the tokenizer and the network architecture uh, and ignored NSP task during pre-training is called Roberta. Roberta extends BERT's MLM and uses much bigger mini batches and learning rates during the pre-training. It changes important hyperparameter in BERT that helps to greatly improve the MLM and accordingly the overall performance in all standard fine-tuning tasks. As a result of the enhanced performance and demonstrated efficiency, we develop SecureBird on top of the Roberta. In order to build a SecureBird, we leverage the Roberta pre-trained model. Unlike the existing models in different domains, which only retrained or fine-tuned the off-the-shelf model with new data without any modification, we have conducted a couple of novel and effective tweaks to enhance the efficiency and to build a more robust model to better represent the cybersecurity ticks. To this end, we design a five-stage process as follows. First, as any language model requires, we collected and cleaned a large amount of cybersecurity-related textual data from the online resources using our web crawl tool. The pre-trained model's token tokenizer is built upon uh, the tokens that are frequent in general English, English and may not cover important cybersecurity tokens. So, leveraging the collected data, we build our own domain-specific tokenizer to cover the maximum number of in-domain tokens for better input encoding. In the next step, we modify the pre-trained weights to generate a new representation and to make the training process more efficient as we retrain a large model with a smaller corpus size. After these modifications, we train the model with different hyperparameter selections, leveraging parallel GPU processing, and then we evaluate the model to show the performance utilizing the dataset we created using cybersecurity resources. So let's talk about some details of these steps in the next few chapters. To create the training dataset, we collected and cleaned more than 90, 98,000 files containing cybersecurity texts from a variety of online resources such as books, articles, research papers, news, blogs, uh, security reports, and the videos. This ends up with 2.17 million documents with average size of 512 words uh, for each and the corpus size of about 1.5 uh, 1.1 billion words with 1.67 million vocabulary size uh, it's good to mention that the 512 words 512 words refers to the pre-trained input size of the language model typical tokenizer breaks the uh, raw text into small chunks called tokens where these tokens help in better understanding the context or developing the model for the natural language processing and representation. Roberta's tokenizer goes further and breaks the words into the most common words and then breaks the less common words into uh, bytes or uh, let's call it subwords. This method, which is called byte pair encoding or BPE, has been proven to be more effective in better encoding the text and also resolves the out of vocabulary problem that exists in word based tokenization and leads to a smaller vocab size as it doesn't have to consider all existing words along with all type of words in the vocabulary. The Roberta's pre trained tokenizer is uh, built upon the general English corpora and uh, therefore 
uh, does not contain many cyber security related words and sub words uh, such as uh, for example crack vulnerability dns phishing and ransomware so we train the tokenizer on the collected corpus to cover all these important cybersecurity tokens to encode the input for model training. The vocabulary size of the pre-trained model is uh, 52,265 uh, words. So we use the same size to make our own tokenizer. After building our tokenizer with the new corpus, our investigation shows that there are 32,592 uh, mutual words between the general English and the cybersecurity language, uh, which means the cybersecurity specific tokenizer contains 17,673 new tokens that have never seen in the off the shelf model. Pre trained models typically return the embedding representations of the tokens, where these representations preserve the semantic and contextual meaning of the tokens according to the corpus that it has been trained on, uh, which is a general English corpus in our case. In this context, some words such as email, internet, and computer have the same meaning in both general and cybersecurity language, while uh, there are homographs, uh, which are the other type of words that may have different meaning in different domains. For example, words like virus, worm, honeypot, and patch have the different meaning in cybersecurity when compared to the general English language. Here, the objective is to somehow modify the weights for these words during training to make the embedding to return the correct vector representation. When a neural network is trained on a small data set, it may memorize all training samples resulting in overfitting and poor performance in evaluation. In addition, due to the unbalanced or sparse sampling of points in the high dimensional input space, small datasets may also pose a more difficult mapping task for neural networks to tackle. This applies when one tries to perform continual learning similar to what we aim to do in retraining the Roberta to create SecureBert. The pre-trained model has been trained on billions of records on general English and, and the weights for the tokens uh, have been learned robustly based on that corpus. Continual learning on these adjusted weights might be expensive or may lead to overfitting if uh, overtrained with many iterations. To resolve this issue, we add a small noise to the uh, pre-trained weight to generate a secondary representation for each word in the same space. The idea is if the word uh, has the uh, similar meaning in the new domain, the vector representation would match the original weights. Otherwise, it will deviate more and establish a totally new representation in the new space. To this end, uh, we take each embedding representation and add a small Gaussian noise to each one and replace the new weights in the model for the training. Finally, we train the SecureBird using eight Tesla V100 GPUs running parallel parallelly for uh, uh, 250,000 st steps for 100 hours with the batch size of 18 using Hagen phase framework with Atom optimizer and cross entropy loss function against mask language modeling or MLM. To recall, in MLM, the model dynamically masks 15% of the words in each input randomly and calculate the error for predicting the mask words at each iteration. We evaluated the secure bird for both pre-training and fine-tuning model. In pre-training, we aim at evaluating the performance of the model in predicting the mask words in the input. As there is no such dataset containing masked cybersecurity words, we manually created a dataset of more than 17,000 sentences extracted from MITRE attack technique and tactic records. We divided these sentences into two parts. We, uh, the first portion contains about 12,721 sentences in which uh, one cybersecurity noun is masked and the second part comprises uh, 4,620 sentences with the masked verb. We use SecureBird and three other models including Roberta Base, Roberta Large, which is a much larger model compared to Roberta Base uh, trained on a much larger corpus and another domain specific language model called 
uh, called Cybert, which is trained on biomed biomedical and computer science research articles. Our cumulative accuracy results shows that SecureBird significantly outperforms other models in predicting cybersecurity uh, mask words, showing its great potential in understanding and representing cybersecurity implications before when uh, it is fine-tuned for a specific task. Here are some examples of predicting mask words using SecureBird. For example, the word reconnaissance uh, in, uh, is masked in uh, the information from these scans may reveal opportunities for other forms of mask word establishing uh, operational resources or initial access. SecureBird correctly predicted this word while Roberto Large, despite its large size and good performance in general English, uh, in general English predicts the mask word as early, which is not necessarily a correct output for this example. In other example, uh, words such as hijacking and DDoS, which refer to the core concept of the other two examples, are incorrectly predicted by Roberto Large, while the secure bird did a great job in capturing the semantic relationships and returning the correct word. As mentioned earlier, we have conducted two modifications such as creating a new tokenizer and also modifying the pre-trained weights. To show the effectiveness of the new tokenizer, we compared the performance of the two versions of the SecureBird on mass language modeling, one with cybersecurity tokenizer and the other which is uh, trained using the pre-trained general English tokenizer. Our results show that the version with cybersecurity tokenizer performed better than the model uh, with pre-trained tokenizer, indicating the effectiveness of using the domain-specific tokenizer for uh, training the SecureBird. Pre-trained weight modification helps in more efficient learning in training the secure bird. This table shows some examples that how it affects the training and accordingly the, uh, the output when tested on MLM task. Suppose the word virus uh, is masked in a simple sentence such as virus causes uh, the mask word. Virus is a term which has different implication in general and cybersecurity language. It may refer to tiny species uh, which uh, cause disease or may mean a piece of code used for cyber attacks. A powerful language model can easily detect the contextual meaning of this word within the given sentence and figure out the mask word can be something like uh, DOS or denial of service, crash or reboot, which makes sense in cybersecurity domain. And we see this happens in SecureBird output uh, shown by SB ab ab abbreviation. This meaning implication, however, cannot be detected by general English models, and they may return some words referring to viruses' general meaning, such as cancer, infection, and autism. In the meantime, if the secure bed is trained without initial weight modification with the same number of training iteration, it returns some words in between, such as problems or disaster, which shows the model may require more number of training iterations to just well and return more legit words for the mask tokens. Similar examples for honeypot, worm, firewall, and zombie, and many other can make this assumption correct and therefore confirm the importance of the weight modification in training the secure bird. As mentioned earlier, there are a limited number of datasets to evaluate cybersecurity language models. MalwareTextDB is a dataset containing 39 annotated APT reports that comprises 6819 sentences that uh, action, subject, object, and the modified have been annotated in each one. We fine-tuned the SecureBird along with pre-trained Roberta and Cybert for name entity recognition task on this dataset as a downstreaming task. Despite the fact that this dataset does not necessarily annotate the cybersecurity related uh, entities, the secure bird slightly outperform other models in this task in predicting the correct entity among each sentence. In this paper, we introduced uh, secure bird as the first domain-specific language model that is purely trained on cybersecurity corpus and evaluated on number of standard NLP tasks. This model shows a high performance in all tasks when compared uh, to the other models that makes it a reliable model for vulnerability classification, threat extraction, uh, entity recognition, and many other important cybersecurity related tasks.